This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Lynda.com. This is the coffee pot at work. Listen to it perk. Look at the coffee as it gets darker and stronger. Ever wondered how many of these it would take to kill you? All the time, right? Well, I'm John P., and I'm going to tell you, welcome to Geek Beat. Buenos dias. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Maxwell House. Caffeine, it's the world's most widely consumed psychoactive drug, and 90% of Americans consume it daily. Now, I don't know about you, but when I think of caffeine, the first thing that comes to mind has to be lethality. I mean, 10 grams of this stuff is enough to kill you. So I'm constantly worrying just how many Starbucks espresso frappuccinos can I actually drink? So I did the math. Turns out a 24 ounce frappuccino contains 185 milligrams of caffeine, which by the way is more than five cans of Coke. So you could down 54 of them before you were near death. Incidentally, at $4.25 each, that means it would cost $230 to commit suicide by Frappuccino. I've been drinking cafe lattes since the fifth grade and I haven't looked back. But I digress. If you step it up to a regular venti Starbucks coffee, you're gonna get a whopping 415 milligrams of the juice per cup. You're, you're all hopped up on the caffeine. I feel like I'm talking a little faster, but it's very hard to tell. And it's only gonna cost you $2.25. That tips the death meter towards a far more favorable price range because now it would only take about 24 tall boys or 54 bucks to put you in the hospital. Incidentally, next time someone gives you a $50 Starbucks gift card, that can be considered attempted murder. So the only question now is exactly how fast do I need to drink dozens of cups of Joe in order to throw the old liver into a tailspin? Well, it turns out it takes about 45 minutes for liquid caffeine to enter the bloodstream, and then the half-life of caffeine in the body is 4.9 hours, meaning if you consume 200 milligrams, it takes almost five hours before you have only 100 milligrams in your system. God, I feel great! Of course, we're only talking about healthy adults. Kids, the elderly, or people with a disease process caffeine much slower. By the way, did you notice we're learning something together today? You know, where else can you learn something? Lynda.com. They'll teach you 3D, animation, audio, business, design, development, photography, videography, and about a hundred other things. And with enough caffeine in your system, you can probably learn everything in a week, which incidentally is the amount of free access you get when you head over to Lynda.com forward slash geekbeat. That's right, visit Lynda.com forward slash geekbeat and sign up for your free week of all you can eat knowledge, served with a side of awesome. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Now, if you're a healthy person and you consume a giant Starbucks coffee at 8 a.m. and take in 400 milligrams, by 1 p.m. you still have 200 milligrams in your system when you stop back in for another cup after lunch. You can't put a limit on my cafe lattes, so, so right here. And I don't want to get dirty looks when I come in here. If I want a cafe latte, you give me a cafe latte. And if I have any problems, I'm going to get my lawyer Jackie Charles down here, you're going to be in really big trouble. <laughs> then, after draining that one, you're up to 600 milligrams floating around in the old blood. By dinner time, you'd be down to about 300 milligrams, and if you're lucky, by around midnight, you'd be getting back to your normal sluggish self. If you find yourself having trouble sleeping at night, now you know why, and you might want to back off on the afternoon caffeine there. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll have a, uh, do you have a uh, decaf cappuccino? But if you do start cutting down, do it slowly. Caffeine withdrawal causes all sorts of nasty side effects like constipation, muscle stiffness, depression, sleeplessness, stuffy nose, and vomiting. <laughs> Huh, what do you know? It's like real drug withdrawal. You're the only one I know who's got the good stuff and I need a bad baby because I feel like I got bugs crawling up my skin. Anyway, next time you take a look around Starbucks, do the math. I bet if you drink everything in sight, it'd kill ya. You're killing me! I'm John P. and I'm a little thirsty. Maxwell House is good to the last drop. It tastes as good as it smells every time. The reason you want a curved display is because let's say you've got Because us. I honestly believe it is the single worst product I've ever experienced. It's very colorful. Like one of the most powerful scooters you can get, okay? 